praise the lord it's good to be back with another walk the talk message how are you all i pray that you would fulfill god's great plan for your life today i want to talk to you about how to tell if you have lost god's presence in your life first samuel 421 22 says she named the child ikaboth which means where is the glory for she said israel's glory is gone If you read the story Israel lost 30000 men in battle and the ark of the covenant was taken away not only that God departed from Israel that's why they faced such a huge loss first of all we need to understand what is the presence of God the presence of God is the person of God revealed his presence is tangible you can feel you can see and you can hear it it can be felt and can be seen in the spiritual realm the presence is an atmosphere that envelops you it is like a shadow that covers you and what is the purpose of the presence it is for the word of god to be manifested in your life because the presence cannot separate itself from the word both go together now How do you know if God's presence is not there in your life? First of all, we won't have protection or God's covering in our lives. We become spiritually exposed. The devil knows when we don't have protection. You will become an easy target. You will see loss after loss. You will see attack after attack. Two, we become spiritually dry. our lives will become monotonous mechanical everything in our life will be the same we sing the same songs we say the same prayers we may have nice words but god's presence won't be manifested three we die spiritually four constantly living in fear that something bad is going to happen five our gifts and calling will not develop to the fullest six constantly feeling guilty and condemned seven we feel depressed and discouraged eight no joy nine temptations make us weak ten negative thoughts are constantly around us if you do have any of these signs or more you might be wondering what should i do how can i invite the presence of god again first prayer and worship Worship is recognizing God. It creates an atmosphere where the presence of God is manifested. Second, declaring and studying the word of God, declaring the word of God loud. Three, do not neglect church fellowship, Bible study and being partakers in the ministry. Four, always hunger and thirst for God. Five, be intimate with the Holy Spirit. 6 avoid unholy places avoid watching listening or being in fellowship with ungodly people 7 be humble 8 be willing to repent and change to invite god and his presence back 9 always having god on your mind and being careful not to disrespect him 10 last but the greatest obedience to god he says in his word draw near to me and i will draw near to you can your prayer be like moses if your presence does not go with us do not send us up from here remember it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living god yet he is merciful if you truly turn back to him make a decision today that no matter what happens you will not go without his presence and leading in your life if you have been blessed by the sermon today if you have felt like that the holy spirit has been talking to you remember obedience matters how you respect god matters how much you want god matters your hunger and thirst for god invites his presence back so do not forget seek him seek him with all of your heart with humility with joy with eagerness and always be with the mindset that 
you are a child of God. God bless you all.